since my hot end clogged and I tried to clear it out with a drill bit ended up drilling it out to about a mil and a half idiot me from 0.4 to a mil and a half so I decided to give it a shot anyway I did some Kura changes I made a nice thick um, layer of uh, plastic on the heated bed cranked the bed up to 90 Celsius and I'm laying down 0.8 millimeter layers on this thing actually the first layer is supposed to be around 0.3 but yeah I don't think that's right in either case this thing is uh, kind of trying to do it this is a waste of filament really but uh, I want to see what happens if I try to print this at such thick layers uh, the print time went down from 6 hours to 52 minutes so this is not gonna be that long it already messed up in a bunch of areas over here for some reason or another as you can see the design didn't really come out but it's probably gonna overlap I mean look at this um, I took a caliper to a bit of uh, extruded plastic and uh, it's actually growing the plastic in goes 1.75 millimeter plastic roughly or thereabouts 1.74 on average and um, out comes 1.80, 1.81, 1.83, so on and so forth. So really, really thick. Uh, I'm going to see how this works out, actually. I'm very curious. I've never seen anybody print out. I did some searching and I've never seen anybody print out with like a gigantic nozzle before. Well, I guess this will be one of the world's only... Uh, a mil and a half J heads. We'll see. Uh, I did a bit of upgrading here. I yes, I placed an order for a different hot end for this thing. This will not be an ongoing experiment. If this prints out in with any reasonable resolution, which it doesn't look like, uh, it'll be fine. If not, uh, it'll go into the scrap pile. And it's already growing, so. And uh, this toner plastic stuff is, I don't know. The micro center plastic hasn't made me all that happy. It kept clogging on my extruder out there, which is really wailing away. Like, you've never seen plastic wheels turn so fast. This is what happens when you're layering out these gigantic layers of plastic over here oh man oh. man oh man there's a lot of errors in this thing okay we'll see it doesn't look like it's sticking properly and it's stumbling upon itself the resolution is horrendous It's skipped. I guess that's a failure. Well, interesting enough to see. Kill the print. Let's take a look at this. Yep, it's a mess. It's a complete and utter mess. It stick pretty damn well though. I wonder if I go up or down on the template. Time to have dinner, really. And I don't have time to deal with this thing. Actually, I should stop picking this before I kill the bed. That's how I crack these, alum uh, these uh, glass beds, by the way. Let them cool down naturally. You'll be able to get the plastic off of them. Try to pry this shit off, and eh, you're gonna break it. Yeah, pardon my French. But in either case, this is very interesting. Take a look at that. It doesn't look horrible, actually. I mean, that really thick layer worked, but. Eh. 
I'm sure this would have worked a lot better if this was, you know, I accidentally used a one mil bit instead of a mil and a half, which is the smallest bit I had. This is it. See? It's trying to go in from the back of the J head to dig out the plastic without puncturing all the way through. In my zeal by hand, I was able to puncture all the way through. My J head doesn't exactly look all that great anyway. And this is probably the first time you guys have seen the bottom part of it. I want to add um, some LEDs to this thing so I can actually see what it's printing on. And of course on top, yes these extra long screws will be holding these uh, TX style battery connectors on there. So these two wires won't be forever flexing anymore. I don't want them to chafe, I don't want them to do anything. But uh, once the new head comes in, I guess I'll be experimenting. Well, another update is... Um, Yay, we cracked a hundred hours. hundred hours and still no front panel for this damn thing. Okay, oh well. Alrighty. Catch you next time. Bye.